Greetings everyone, my name is Numbers Can Be Fun, and today I wanted to do a video about Calc Key, or better known currently as Firefish, which self-describes itself as a fun, new, open way to experience communities, communication, and other forms of social media. Now, um, Firefish, or Calc Key, is a fork of Miss Key. Um, which is something that I was interested in trying, but um, I, I, it wasn't in English. I couldn't find a server that I really liked, so I, I wanted to try out Firefish, which was a fork. Now, the first thing I noticed is um, when I went to the firefish.social website, it, it was down. Um, usually when I join any of these forks, I, I do like to try to nest myself into the main server, but I wasn't able to do that this time. So as you can see, I have my current profile set up over here at Lethal Lava Land. This is a wonderful server, so if you are interested in trying out Firefish, I can highly recommend coming over to this server. Everybody here has been really wonderful so far. They're, they're very encouraging, um, they're very communicative, and it's got a lot of small creators and uh, developers um, in this community. So if you're, if you're interested in art, you're interested in small games, or if you're just interested in talking with a bunch of like-minded people, this is a great community to get started. Now, the reason why I like Firefish so much is it because it blends together a lot of the features that I really enjoy. So um, as you can see here on screen, we have our social tab, which mixes the post from the local server um, with the posts that you currently subscribe to. So not only are you getting information from your local home feed, but anybody else that I follow, I can see all of their information displayed here too. Um, and of course, you could uh, you can react, you can comment, and you can do everything that you would normally do um, through something like Mastodon if that's something that you're more familiar with. Um, but I like a lot about what Firefish has done. The UI is one of the biggest reasons I was attracted to it. So one of the things that was kind of difficult for me to do was to find a home in the Fediverse um, that I could customize, that I could really make it feel like it was my little corner of the internet. And uh, Firefish accommodated that because I can set up my own custom backgrounds, I can change the themes as I see fit, um, and everything about the UI was really good. I'm just running through the features real quick just, just to give everybody an idea of what uh, Firefish has to offer. Nothing was really like outright explained immediately, so if this is something that you're interested in doing, um, the channels are kind of more like form posts, um, and you, you do have these other features um, like Drive, which is, you know, all of your file management. So any of the posts that you have, you could just go ahead. You can manage all of the images right here. You can actually even click the images and see what posts um, are associated with those uh, images. You could take a look around at the announcements. They have antennas. So if you're looking for specific keywords um, or you want to see posts that mention certain topics, you can go ahead and set that up. Um, that's all available to you um, from there. Um, the pages was an interesting feature. Now, this lets you just set up like almost like a custom little like web page. It, it almost like comes across as like a little bit of a blog post, but more like kind of like a Wikipedia page that you can kind of set up. It, it's in a weird state, but um, I think it's interesting nonetheless. I couldn't really find very much in the gallery here. I think it's just like common pictures that are posted by the community. Uh, clips are a way to organize your bookmarks. You can create groups just like you can um, right through Mastodon. And um, of course, one of my favorite things was the various different layouts that you could set up. Now, um, the centered layout does look pretty cool. I will be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the centered layout. Um, just not, not something that like really appeals to me. Um, so I, I much prefer um, having the, uh, the default layout and the deck layout, just not really my jam either. Everything just kind of pushed over to the side. Everything's crammed into these small columns. Not, for me, not really a great way to experience the Fediverse. So um, I'm more partial to the default settings myself. Um, with all of this out of the way, with this nice brief overview of what um, Firefish is, what it has to offer to you, there is something unfortunately really sad. So um, I went um, over here to uh, this post by Panos, and he's over on Katadon. And um, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below so you can read this post in its entire entirety. But reading through this, um, it seems like the Firefish project might actually be on the brink of going extinct. 
Um, even uh, this team member here um, says it, it might be too uh, early to consider it a dead project, but this was extremely disheartening. As somebody who just found this software just a couple of weeks ago and had just found a nice little slice of the Fediverse to uh, fuck, make myself home, um, it w I'm already being told that uh, this project might be dead. and. That was really, really disappointing to me. Um, so I had an opportunity to follow Panos here, and I, um, I did actually just ask him, you know, hey, what is going to be uh, the biggest contrast and the biggest difference between Katadon and Firefish? And he actually did take the time to reply, so I will post this reply as well uh, down in the description uh, below. But the main features that he wants to do is he wants to change the, UI, uh, the UX, uh, the user interface, to make a little bit more sense, to uh, narrow it down a little bit. Um, but what's really encouraging is that there's already another fork available of Firefish called Ice Shrimp. Um, and that is what they are intending to doing is just keeping the Firefish um, experience going, which I really, really do appreciate. Um, I, I really do appreciate also that Panos took the time uh, to reply and to answer my questions about this project um, because I do care about it. Now, I, I don't necessarily agree with him stripping down some of the user interfaces, um, features that I, I really, really, really love about Firefish. Um, but the fact that um, there are two forks already available of Firefish, um, depending on what you're looking for, is pretty great. The last thing I wanted to cover real quick um, was just a couple of things I glossed over with the settings. Um, right here, you'll just see like all the various different settings. But the one thing that was really, really cool, and as you can see here, I have my own custom background. Setting up the theme and being able to pick a variety of different themes was one of the biggest most important things to me. So we're going to be comparing the other two uh, sites here in a couple of minutes um, because I want to make sure that uh, if I'm going to settle down onto another server, if Firefish does die one day, I want to be able to make sure that I can carry over my user experience um, because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what server that you land on, right? That's the whole point of the Fediverse is that you can move around at your discretion, take your content with you, and make yourself a new home if you are no longer happy or if you just wanted to set up your own server, you can do that. That's the beautiful thing about getting on the Fediverse. Um, so that's why we're going to go ahead and take a look at these two forks and see what they're all about. Now, the first thing I wanted to mention um, to Panos is I cannot find Katadon listed here on FediDB. I, it might be listed um, on other websites. I wasn't able to find it. I was able to pull up some stats for Ice Shrimps. Um, current monthly active users are, are currently at 858. Um, and they do have 85 servers uh, going right now. Um, I went ahead and went with infosec.pound. That would probably not be the server that I stick with. I probably should have went with iceshrimp.social, but I wanted to go with the most popular ones just to get an idea of where we're sitting at. Now, just taking a look at Katadon here, um, we can already right off the rip see a lot of similarities. Um, so he didn't really make too many changes to the user interface. The one big change that I didn't really care for was the way that he has all of this um, all of this social media feed set up right um, he has that still there but I really liked the social feed which combines both my local server and the post I follow I want to be exposed to um, the users that are, are that are posting on my server I want to see their content I want to be in, involved in that and um, you know uh, that was something, um, if I'm going to level a my minor criticism um, over to Katadon, I would really hope that they bring that feature back because that was one of the biggest reasons why I like uh, Firefish outside of the user um, interface. Now, um, I went ahead and I went over all the themes are pretty much the same um, between Firefish, between Katadon, uh, and between um, Ice Shrimp here. So you're going to see me mess around with the UI features. The fact that I can still set up my wallpaper, I can customize the CSS, I can manage the themes, I can install themes. These were all things that were really important to me because, you know, there are a lot of apps that are going to just, you know, manage your social media feed. You know, Mastodon does a really, really wonderful job of just doing that. But I mean, the user interface is just... In my opinion, the web user interface is just awful. Um, what I really did like, and I'm hopeful, um, so there's a new app that I found recently called Ice Cubes. Um, I'm really hopeful that it will work with both of these servers. I didn't have time to test it um, by the time 
uh, I made this video, but um, I do know that uh, Ice Cubes does work with uh, Lethal Lava Land. So um, it does work with Firefish currently. I haven't tested it for Catadon or um, Ice Shrimp. So if you're looking for a good app, I can also recommend that as well. And I will leave a link down to the description. Um, of the developer who writes the Ice Cubes app. Um, moving forward though, uh, the last thing I wanted to touch on here was um, just the similarities and the minor differences between the two. So um, being true to, uh, to uh, their words, um, Ice Shrimp seems to be just carrying the Firefish project forward um, and they're not really changing too much. At least that's what I can see on this server here. Um, the one thing that I did notice that um, he ended up doing was he did end up creating those blog posts um, that he mentioned. So the pages are no longer going to be pages. They're going to be set up more like forums and blog posts. And that's something that I actually really do like and that I would encourage Ice Shrimp to take a look at as, as well. Because um, I think having a all-in-one solution, hey, I can blog here. Hey, I can create um, these little form post or have my own little form community um that would be something that's great somebody who's a small youtuber who's trying to get a community of subscribers going that would be a feature that i'd be extremely interested in um i think that's all i have really left to say about this i highly encourage everybody to go out and visit katadon i highly encourage everybody to check out ice shrimp and um, see if this is something that's uh, good for you. If you're looking for a good Firefish server, as I mentioned, Lethal Lava Land, that's where I'm currently at. I really enjoy that community. So I encourage everybody to check that out as well. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this Fediverse stuff, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. Um, I actually know quite a bit about it. I've been diving into lots of different software, and I hope to make a couple of more videos like this in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Numbers Can Be Fun, and I hope everyone out there has a wonderful day.